What's up guys? So in the last video, I kind of showed you how to, you know, just basically record some Minecraft on a Mac. So for this video, I thought I'd just give you some tips on the best way to edit, and I'll show you a few shortcuts and a few tips I have learned along the way. So we'll start out with just a few um, shortcuts to make the editing easier. So let's say you just want to take out a little part of the clip. So you highlight the audio of the video and you hit shift command T. So that splits it where you where you want it to go. So then you go along da 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 and pick the next spot where you want um, where you want it to end. So shift command T splits it again. And it's nice it already has the little part highlighted, so to get rid of it, command X. Boom, it's gone. But if you if you don't want the shortcuts, you have a hard time memorize it, you can just go into edit instead of hitting, you know, shift command T, you can just hit split clip and um to delete you can just go in and hit, you know, delete. So or yeah, or cut. Cut is the same thing as command X. So, you know, those are just some easy ways to you know to to edit. You can move things around, you know, like this pretty simply. And if you want to undo anything, just hit Command Z. And if you want to, you know, if you don't want to memorize the shortcut, just go Edit Undo. Pretty simple. So, let's see what else is nice. Um, basically, up here it just gives you a bunch of different options. Here you can pick your video properties. So let's say, um, let's say you want to change the scale, how big it is. You can just adjust that, zoom in really big, scale it out, and you can change the opacity. And actually, this is kind of this is kind of applicable if you have any overlays. Sometimes I'll change the opacity of an overlay on my video. I'll show you how that works. And you can change saturation, um, you know, brightness, and your contrast all right here. So that's pretty. You know, it's all on sliders. Pretty simple. Um, you can change the audio, so you just pick what clip you want to adjust the audio at, up and down, not too bad. And let's see, um, with the screen recording properties, you can actually change, you know, if you want to show the mouse pointer or not, you can, you know, you can show the keys that you press, like in a tutorial, like for this one, I'll probably have this clicked to show you guys the buttons I'm pressing. Um, if you want to insert text, like this is actually pretty cool. You just go insert text box, boom, it's right there. So, you know, you want to just say Minecraft or something. And you go into the text and you can totally, you can totally customize it however you want. So let's pick a nice text. Um, let's see, logo craft, boom. So, and it snaps to the center, pretty nice. And you can adjust this however you want it. Boom. You can bring it to the center. You can adjust the size you want it. You know, that's pretty huge. And um, I, I really like the way that you can adjust the way the text looks because um, you can even make it like a gradient if you want. So, you know, you can get it looking pretty cool. Let's see, but you gotta highlight it. But yeah, you can get it looking pretty nice, um, just with some simple things. And what else do we want to do? So the backdrop, you can also do the same thing. You can put an image back there. Um, you know, you can make the margin bigger, smaller, whatever you want. You can adjust the roundness. So you know, you can do do stuff like that. Or if you want to just get the backdrop out in general, just have some text. Um, you can also do a stroke effect, kind of do an outline around it, and you know you can make that whatever color you want. So, you know, I think I think the uh, the stuff you can do in this program is pretty. They make it pretty simple. Uh, let's see. So, if you want to add like music or like overlays or I don't know anything you want really you can put into here and that's one thing I like about this program you don't really have to you don't really have to 
you know, pre-render stuff like you would in Final Cut Pro. Like everything is compatible. So this is something I usually have in uh, in a lot of my videos. Just have a little overlay graphic. So you can throw that in there, scale it up to however big you want it. I usually put it in the top right. So this is where this is where kind of the opacity comes into play. You know, you can if you want your overlay to be you know a little um, kind of see through. So you know that's that's just kind of a nice effect you can put on your videos. So and also if you want like you know a smooth a smooth like transition between your videos, just highlight it, right click, add a starting transition, and there's a bunch of different transitions you can pick. I personally like dip to black the most. It's it's just a smooth like fade in. There's also you know melt mod page curl I won't show them all to you guys but you know it just there's just tons of different things you can do so it's pretty cool and if you want to throw like some music in there or something you know just hit add media add your music let's see let's throw in some of this double click boom so you just put in the music anyway guys I want to thank you for watching and I will talk to you later you know it's pretty simple um, but that's pretty loud so you can adjust the volume of it and add a little starting transition and this is kinda of how I like to end my videos so um, you know, you can just you can just have like a fade into the music as your video ends. So it sounds pretty cool. But yeah, guys. So that's basically it. How to edit. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to render. What the best settings are to get a high quality and a low file size. But uh, as for now, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later.